Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman and in this lesson we're going to learn the B section of Dinah. Let's get started by checking out the rhythm. In the B section of Dinah, here's the rhythm. We have no one in the house, no one in the house. Can you point to the beats with me and let's sing. Go. No one in the house, no one in the house. Now let's do it in chicken style. Chicken says bok. Ready? Bok, 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 bok. Bok, 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 bok. Now, can you point to any beats where you heard four sixteenth notes? Remember, the sound of four sixteenth notes is ticky ticky. If you're pointing here, you're correct. But there was another one too. Where else did you hear sixteenth notes? If you're pointing here, you're correct. Now let's figure out how many sounds go in each of these beats. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. What did you hear? If you said quarter notes, you're correct. So in rhythm words, we'd have ticky, ticky, ta, ticky, ticky, ta. Point and sing that with me. Go. Ticky, ticky, ta, ticky, ticky, ta. Now, can you figure out the rhythm for this row? Listen carefully. Buck, 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 buck. Point to the beat where you heard sixteenth notes. If you're pointing here, you're correct. Now, what are the rhythm words for these three beats? Buck, 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 buck. Can you say it in rhythm words? If you said ticky, ticky, tee, 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 ti, ta, you are correct. Let's say this whole page of heartbeats in rhythm words. So starting up here again, say the rhythm words while you point to each beat. Go. Ticky, ticky, ta, ticky, ticky, ta, ticky, ticky, ti, 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 ta. Now let's take a look at the B section on the staff. Here's our G major pentas scale drawn on the treble staff. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Remember the B section of Dinah starts on so. So we're up here on this line number one, two, three, four of the treble staff, which is high so, 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 so. Remember we have four repeating so's and then what? How is this note moving? If you said skip down, you're correct. Remember a step down would look like that from a line to a space. When we go from a line to a line, that's a skip down. So, 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 me. Now point and sing with me. Go. So, 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 me. Now let's look at the next pattern. And tell me what you notice. No one in the house. What do you notice about this next pattern? It's actually the same pattern that we just had. We have four repeating notes, then a skip down. But what's different? This time we're on a space note. It's the same pattern but just starting one step lower than before. In music, when you have the same pattern again but starting a note lower or higher, that's called a sequence. So this makes a sequence. We have the same pattern again but starting a step lower. Fa, 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 re. Now point and sing with me. Go. Fa, 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 re. And then the sequence continues again, this time with me, 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 do. Point and sing with me. Go. Me, 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 do. Then what happens? It skips back up to me. Then can you tell me if it's stepping, skipping, or repeating? What happens here? It steps down, then what? Repeat, then what? Step down. So all together we get me, 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 do, me, re, re, do. Now point and sing with me. Go. Me, 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 do, me, re, re, do. Now hold up your right hand in the air and let's practice moving our fingers for these patterns. In the B section we start on so. Can you wiggle the finger that usually plays so? If you're wiggling your finger five, you're correct. Remember we have do, re, mi, fa, so. So so is that top finger five and we're going to have repeating on so. So, 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 
me. Now you try. Good. Then we do that same pattern again, but this time starting on fa, a step below. Now we have fa, 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 re. Now you try. Good. Now we have that same pattern again, but this time starting on me. Me, 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 do. Now your turn. Good. And then it skips back up to me, me, re, re, do. Your turn. And that's for the little pattern, but me, I know. Try it with lyrics, go. Now let's put all of that together. We have no one in the house, no one in the house, no one in the house, but me, I know. Now let's try it together with me. Move your finger starting on so, go. No one in the house, down to fa, no one in the house, no one in the house, but me, I know. Great. Now let's try and play it. So on your own piano, go ahead and take your right hand and cover up the G major pentascale. G is our do. But for the B section, remember we start on so. Our finger five is on what letter is our finger five playing? If you said D, you're correct. And that is our so in the G major pentascale. So we'll start off with so, 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 me. Now your turn. Remember, when you play on your finger five, don't let it collapse. This is not correct. Keep it near its tip and just use that bouncy wrist to try and drop into that key. So, 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 me. Now you try. Good. Now remember, your finger five may feel kind of weak. And that's why as a pianist, we practice every day because it will get stronger and more comfortable staying near its tip the more you practice. So, 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 so me. Now try again. Good. Then the next one, we go to fa. Fa, 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 re. Your turn. Once again, we need that bouncy wrist. Fa, 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 re. Now you try. And then we go to me, 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 do. Your turn. And then after we get to do, it skips back to me for me, re, re, do. Your turn. Good. When we put that all together, we get no one in the house, no one in the house, no one in the house but me, I know. Now pause the video and work on that entire section using your best piano posture. Remember to sing while you play. Do it several times until you feel comfortable and then press play to go on. Now, if you look in your sheet music, you'll see that line four is exactly the same as line three. So we just do that over again. No one in the house, no one in the house, no one in the house but me, I know. Now you try. Now let's take a look at the sheet music. Now let's check out the sheet music for our B section of Dinah. First, just take a glance and tell me what you notice. You may notice, similar to what we saw in the A section, that when notes are on the middle line or higher, the stems flip upside down. So this, uh, these 16th notes are ticky ticky. We've got stems down, stems down on this quarter note. And then once the note gets below that middle line, the stems can start going up again. That's just one of the, the rules of notation. Now you may have also noticed this new term called DC al fine. DC stands for da capo. It's an Italian word that means 
to the head. You wear a cap on your head, so that's a way you can remember. Da capo means to the head, which means you're going to go all the way back to the start of the piece. DC al fine is kind of like a teleport station. When you get there, you teleport back to the start and you play it again. So it's similar to a repeat sign, except the difference is when you get to the fine, it means you stop. So we go back to the start, DC al fine. We play the A section again, and this time when we get to the fine, we're done. Fine means the end. It looks like the word fine in English, but remember, these are Italian words, so we say fine, like the Italians. Now, in your own practicing at home, when you're working on the B section, remember that by now you probably know the A section pretty well. So, I suggest when you're practicing, a smart way to practice is to skip to the section that you need to work on. For example, if I were you, when I start practicing, I wouldn't even play the A section. I would first play the B section like four or five times, just this section, so you get really good at it, and then try playing the whole thing. Also, every day before you practice the B section, it might be helpful to go through your sheet music and just practice pointing and singing the rhythm words. Tiki tiki ta, tiki tiki ta, tiki tiki ti 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 ta. That can be a good way to review before you actually try playing it. Once you feel like you've got the B section going, again, connect it back to the A section. You'll play A section, then B section, DC al fine, bzzu. A section one more time, fine, you're done. Try tracing the path of this song with me. Take your finger and we're going to play the first line, come along with me, second line, third line, fourth line, DC al fine, back to the first line, second line, you're done, fine. Great work learning how to play the B section of Dinah. I hope you'll practice carefully every day until you can play Dinah the whole thing with confidence. Happy practicing and see you next time. Chip, 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 chip. Croak. Wee, 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 wee. Chip, 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 chip. Croak, croak. Wee, wee. Boo.